is being occupied. Go to another. This one is mine. Well, for now it is. Look, I haven't anything to give you for your efforts in exploring this place. And there's nothing you would want. Not like I do. If you've come to end me, make it swift. I haven't much time left regardless. And then you may. And I don't know. <laughs> Take my head or something. Please, just... <laughs> leave me be. That, that's the, that's the exact I made. Before you ask, no, <laughs> you may not have it. This is mine. I need it for when, <sighs> never mind. Please allow me to hold it one last time before I... You don't want this. Oh well then. I suppose you must take your leave. Or stay. I do not care anymore. I do not like being alone. Mm, sadly, there aren't as many of us left anymore. Not like there were. And killed off. Migrated to far off lands. Was that it? Was I simply left behind? I don't know. I would go too, but too many creatures. Mostly those like you. I tend to not be very friendly. And there was one. Yes. I had a mate. He was gracious. Though he's long gone now. I, I... I was expecting a half-spring. That is what this was for, yes. Oh. It was going to hold them. To keep them safe. I was going to hold them. I never got the chance. Turn around and see that curtain of silk behind you. Remove and you'll see. Of all little mounds amongst the soil. I've etched on the stone. Batch one. Batch two. Batch three. Batch four. They are all mine. 
Or we're supposed to be. None survived. They just couldn't. My maid and I, we could do nothing. We were exhausted. One day he, he was just gone. Probably found himself another who could help carry on our species. First, you complain, Lacey. I could not. I failed as a droider, as as a mother. I don't know what is wrong with me. Why I cannot bear offspring. I'm healthy. I have the perfect environment for them to have grown in. Do I simply not know what I'm doing? Was I simply too rough with them? Were they too cold? Did I not feed them enough? doesn't make sense to me. One by one, I would watch them fall. Seeing their little eyes close forever, I... I begged they held on a little longer. Oh, they tried so hard. wasn't enough. They just couldn't. Human. I am tired. I have nothing to look forward to anymore. I'm... I'm alone. Could you... Stay. Just until I fall asleep. And then you may do whatever you need to. I'm going to... Oh. <sighs> Lay. Just here. No. The stone is quite calming, actually. It's so cold. It cools my silks. It makes my bed more comfortable. Tell me, human. Do you have any family? Anyone to call your own? A companion? Or even a friend? What a wonderful thing to have. Someone you see when you turn out. Someone to take care of. No. Someone is going to greet you once you return and be happy to see you without question. I wanted that. I wanted to be a mother. I still do. Mother. I'm afraid even that has been taken from me. I asked before if you had anyone as well. 
do you? Is anything... Is anyone waiting for you back home? Is someone or something depending on you? Anyone you will miss? I see. Oh. oh, wait, wait. Please, don't be afraid. I understand that I might not appear to be what you're used to. At all. But I wanted you to see me clearly. For what I am. What? Don't eat you. Human. I've not eaten a human before in my life. We try those. Do no such thing. We normally keep two smaller animals. And we scavenge things that we can manage. We don't go looking for trouble. We more so like to keep to our own. Please, lower your weapon. I won't take it from you. But I'd rather it not be waved in my face while I'm simply speaking to you. Thank you. I do not wish to harm you. If I felt you were a threat, I'd have already defended myself. Do you feel threatened by me? I don't not. I don't think you'd have been here speaking with me this long. If you did. Human, this... This is the first in a very long time that I've gotten this much company, especially from one such as yourself, whom in which I've done my utmost to avoid. I... I have an offer. A rather strange offer, indeed. Would... I would like for you to stay. Yes. With me. Here. Oh, I know it is a big decision. My apologies for being so forward. But. Well. I very much enjoy speaking with you. And your presence is calming to me. And it is something I would like to have around. You will have plenty to eat. I can keep you warm in my silks. The cave has a spring, and you may come with me out into the forest to scavenge. Human, I... 
I am in desperate need for another. Someone I can take care of. Someone I can have around. Someone I can be a mother to, in a way. I understand it's a big decision. And the requirements are a bit much to think about. Well, such as you wouldn't be able to return to the towns. I cannot have other humans come out here looking for me. You would be mine. And you'd have to abide by my rules. Hope and none of which shall be a hindrance to you. Like I said, you'll be very well taken care of. With all that being said, do... Do you have an answer for me? I see. I... Wait. Yes. You'll stay with me. Truly. I... I don't know what to say. May I come a bit closer to you? Yes, I... I'd like to get a good look at you. Oh. My, you are so... strong. <laughs> so wonderful. May I touch you? Oh, your skins are so soft. Nothing like the exoskeleton I have. I do have soft spots located between my plates, but you, you're soft on the outside, as I am on the inside. Oh, my apologies for poking around so much. I'm simply understanding. I've only ever seen your kind from afar. Would you like to see me? We are quite different. I wouldn't want you to feel uncomfortable around. Is safe, I promise. Have you ever felt a dryness abdomen? Here. Will you allow me to take your hand? Slowly, just... Oh! <laughs> no. Not this one. Although, you may if you'd like to. I was thinking more of... My arachnid half. This one. Oh, no, 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 you don't need to be nervous. Just simply... See? There's nothing to be afraid of. 
You'll become more accustomed to the look over time. I promise. I... see... myself kind of mocking your look halfway down, but... this could be... quite intimidating. I know we are not the same, but perhaps later that, after some time, that won't matter. I, I'll be just like you, in a sense. Perhaps it could be ignored. In a way that's not cold, but as it would become a little more natural. I hope for that. I really do. Human. It is late into the night now. Normally when I would be fully awake, as of right now. But as for you, I see your eyes getting heavy. You must feel weary, especially after all this new change. I also, before, expressed my own sluggishness. Despite it being around that time, that would be more active. Unfortunately, my despair has been taking its toll on me and leaving me quite exhausted. But would you... Would you mind if I held you whilst you slept? It would do my internal healing so well. Please. <gasps> oh, forgive me. Before I get too carried away, I do not want you to feel any fear with this. So I, I may show you and ask slowly. May I wrap you up? Let me explain. There are ways in wrapping for food, in wrapping for comfort. Food gets wrapped up tight and swiftly. Comfort is not essential. The way I would like to offer is one that I would have done with my children. Would you like to try it? It's okay. Just hold still. So I don't accidentally wrap you in the wrong position. I want you to be comfortable. All right. Right, just lie down. I'm going to get over you for a moment. Don't be afraid. Just look at me. See my eyes. I mean no harm. Not at all in the slightest. It won't be too tight, and your head won't be covered. There we go. See? Not too tight. And you can breathe fully. 
Now, if for any reason at all, you would like to take it off, it is very simple. Right here in the middle, I left a loose string. Just pull this, and the silk will unravel. Okay? I'm going to put my arms around you now. Oh, here we go. I'll hold on to you tightly. I won't let you fall, I promise. Oh, <laughs> we're going up. Yes. My sleeping chambers are all the way up here in the wall. <sighs> See? It's very cozy. I think you might quite enjoy it. I will just lie beside you. Oh, I hope you're so close. My human. Please don't be nervous. I know it is natural, but... I won't let any harm come to you. I will take care of you. I will make sure you are warm. Have plenty to eat. And that you are happy. Thank you, human. My sweet human.